Hello friends. In this video, we are going to discuss that what will be the effect of addition of open loop poles and zeros on the location of the root locus for a system. So let's start with our topic. So first let's see that what will be the effect of addition of open loop poles on the location of the root locus. So to see the uh, effect first we will uh, take an example so that we can easily understand it. So for this we have taken a open loop transfer function given to us as k upon s s plus 2. So its poles are s equals to 0 and s equals to minus 2. So let's draw the root locus for this. We will see its direction. This is the imaginary axis and it's the real axis. So first we will have s equals to 0 as one of our pole and second pole is s equals to minus 2. So this is minus 2, minus 1, this is 0 and s equals to minus 2 and s equals to 0 are our two poles. Okay, so now we will see that what will be the root locus for this. If we take a point here, then the number of poles on the right hand side, they are 2. So the direction of root locus for this pole s equals to minus 2 will be towards the 0, that is towards the origin. Okay, so the direction root locus will be this. Okay, now for this pole, if we take a point here, then the number of root locus on the, uh, the number of poles on the right hand side, it is 1, that is odd. So the direction of root locus will be towards infinity, that is in this direction. Now, due to this pole, the direction of the root locus is this and due to this pole, the direction of root locus will be this. So at some point, the two root locus will meet and then they are going to diverge. So it will be like this. So this is the direction of the root locus or root locus will be like this for this transfer function k upon s s plus 2. Now we are going to add the poles in this transfer function. So in denominator we are going to add the terms. So second term we are taking as second transfer function as gs hs k upon s s plus 2 and we are adding another pole s plus 4 here. Okay, so now we are going to see that what will be the root locus for this. So here we have this is the imaginary axis, real axis. This is s equals to 0, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, and here we will have minus 4. So s equals to minus 2 is one of the pole, s equals to 0 is one pole and s equals to minus 4 is another pole. Now again take points here. So for this point the number of poles on the right hand side are 3. So it's an odd number. So the direction of root locus will be towards infinity. So it will be 
like this now for uh, this minus 2 if we take a point here then the number of poles on the right hand side will be 2 that is an even number so the direction of root locus will be towards the origin so it will be like this if we take a point here for this pole then the number of poles on the right hand side will be 1 that is an odd number so the direction of root locus will be towards infinity so it will be like this and because these two root locus they are meeting at some point and then they are going to diverge so it will diverge like this now next we will have another transfer function let us add one more pole in this this is k upon s, s plus 2, s plus 4 and s plus 6. So we have added another pole here at the location s equals to minus 6. So let's see what are the changes in the location of the root locus. So one pole is at s equals to minus 4, second pole is at s equals to minus 6, one is at s equals to minus 2 and one is at s equals to 0. Now for this s equals to minus 6 pole, if we take a point here, then number of poles on right hand side will be 1, 2, 3 and 4. So the direction of root locus will be towards the origin. So it will be like this. Now for s equals to minus 4, if we take a point here, then 1, 2, 3, 3 poles are there. So direction will be towards infinity. So it is like this. So the root locus branches, they are going to meet and then diverge at some point. Breakaway point will be there. Now for minus 2 and minus 1. If we take a point here then 1 and 2, 2 poles are there. So direction will be towards the origin. And for 0 if we take a point here then the direction will be towards infinity. So it will be like this. So this is how the root locus location it is changing when we are adding poles in the denominator. So if we see the three root locus, this was the first root locus when we have taken S, S plus 2, there were two poles. Then when we are having three poles, then the root locus, it shifted towards the imaginary axis or towards the right hand side. And when we have added another pole, then it again shifted towards the imaginary axis or towards the right hand side. So we can say that due to the addition of poles, the root locus, it is shifting towards the right hand side of the S plane. This is our S plane having the imaginary and the real axis. So the root locus is it is shifting towards the right hand side of the S plane or we can say that the uh, uh, because if it is moving towards the right hand side of the S plane and right hand side it is taken as the unstable condition. So we can say that the stability of the system it is decreasing due to the addition of poles. So we can write the conclusion here that. So we can say that the addition of poles causes the root locus to shift towards the right hand side of S plane and due to which the system stability decreases. Now let's take the addition of zeros. Let's see that what will be the effect for the addition of zeros.
Now again, we are going to take an uh, example. We will take a transfer function and then we are going to add one by one zeros into that transfer function. So first we will have Again, we have taken the same uh, transfer function k upon s, s plus 2. So, its root locus will be two poles are s equals to 0 and s equals to minus 2. So direction of root locus will be it will be like this. Okay. Now next we will add some zeros to this. So here we will have GS HS. Now here we have added the 0 s equals to minus 4. So if we see the root locus for this, then we will have s equals to 0 is one pole. Then s equals to minus 2 is another pole. And at s equals to minus 4, we have a 0. Now if we take a point here, then number of poles and zeros on the right hand side it's 3. So the direction of root locus will be towards the infinity. Now for this s equals to minus 2, if we take a point here, so direction of root locus will be this. And for this, the direction of root locus will be like this. So if we see, this root locus will get diverged. And this will also, because here we have the root locus start from the poles and terminates at the zeros. So it will start from the pole and it will terminate at zero. So here we will have a circle. So this will be the root locus for this system. Now next, add another zero to it. We have GS, HS. So we have two poles and two zeros. Two zeros are at s equals to minus 4 and minus 6 and two poles are at s equals to 0 and s equals to minus 2. So let's see the root locus for this. Minus 2, minus 4 and minus 6. Minus 6 and minus 4 are our two zeros and minus 2 and s equals to 0 are two poles. Now for each of the poles and zeros, we are going to check the direction of root locus. Take a point here. So for this, we have the number of poles and zeros on the right hand side are 4. So the direction of root locus will be towards this. Now for minus 4, we have the number of poles and zeros is 3. So the direction of root locus will be towards infinity. For this, we have, if we take a point here, so number of poles and zeros will be 2. So direction of root locus will be towards this. And for this is like this. Now these two root locus, they are going to diverge. So it will start from here. We will have again a circle. So this is the root locus for this transfer function k s plus 4 s plus 6 upon s s plus 2.
Now, if we compare the root locus for the three transfer functions, then we will see that due to the addition of zeros, the root locus, it is shifting towards the left-hand side of the S-plane. Or we can say that the system stability is increasing because the left-hand side of the S-planes, it is taken as a stable part. Because when we see the stability of the system with respect to the S-plane, we always say that the roots of the system should lie on the left-hand side so that the system is stable. Okay, now here the root locus, it is shifting towards more and more towards the left-hand side. So we can say that the system stability is increasing. Okay, and because of the poles, if we see the root locus, then due to the addition of poles, the system stability was decreasing because root locus was shifting towards the right-hand side of the S-planes. So the conclusion we can say that Due to addition of zeros, The root locus is shifting towards the left hand side of S place, so the system stability is increasing. Okay, so this is the effect of addition of open loop poles and zeros on the location of the root locus. So I hope that this video is clear to you. Thank you.